Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this lovely, smoky, sort of soft glam kind of look. I did a poll on my Instagram today and I said, would you rather see a colourful glam or a soft glam? And soft glam won. This is what I came up with. Just something quite simple, browns, golds, bit smoky. If you want to see how to achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm just going to dive straight into this soft glam look as you can see i've already done this eye so i'm gonna film this one i'm gonna take my p louise base in the shade number two which is rumor and just on me molly o'brien jim bob brush i'm gonna carve out underneath the eyebrow then i'm gonna get the concealer on the rest of the lid then just to blend those edges i'm gonna take this Morphe uh, it's either R05 or R85, I don't know, the name's rubbed off. I'm just going to use that to lightly tickle those edges, just to make sure they're all blended so they don't set into our skin in straight lines. But I'm just going to leave that top edge because we want that nice sharp underbrown. Then I'm going to use the same brush just to pat over the eyelid, just to set that down. Slightly ready for our eyeshadows. Today I'm going to dip into the Stacey Marie Carnival palette and I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades. So a mixture of Rowdy and Basic, just the two browns that are in the palette. On my Zoeva 227 brush, I'm taking mostly Basic with just a little touch of Rowdy. I'm just going to start packing that right into the crease of my eye. Not worrying about blending just yet, just getting the pigment on keeping it quite rounded as well. So I'm stopping at that last lash for now. So now that I've got me basic shape down, I'm just gonna start creating a bit more of a wing just by dragging out. Then just using the exact same brush, I'm just dead lightly gonna start buffing off that edge. To add like a sort of transition shade, I'm going to dip into the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette. I have not used this palette for a very long time and I've got to say I am obsessed with it again. So I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades here, if I'm pointing to the right ones. And I'm just going to use them on the Zoeva 228 and just really start buffing that through upper crease. So I want it to be nice and soft this look, so I'm really just doing big buffer motions. Now that I've got our lighter shades on, I'm going to go back in with a little smidge of Basic and Rowdy on the same Zoeva 227. And I'm just going to pack that right back on just to rebuild the intensity of that colour. So next I'm going to start working on like the eyelid portion. So I'm going to take the Zoeva 234 brush, and just a little smidge of that same P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm just going to start dotting it on that inner corner. So I'm going to wipe off the excess on my brush and I'm just going to start feathering this out. So I'm just teasing that upwards so I'm just like patting. Just to keep it nice and soft. And here we just stop about three quarters of the way across my eyelid. I am just going to switch to the Molly O'Brien Char Char brush and just take a little mixture again of our two darkest shades and I'm just going to dead lightly go over that crease just to make sure it is nice and soft. I don't want to accidentally create, have created like a harsh line. So then for the eyelid, I'm going to take a mixture of the two highlighting shades from the Carnival palette. So Saint and Sinner. I'm going to use a clean Zoeva 234 for this. So I'm just going to lightly pack that on right where we've put that concealer. Then just to add a little bit more gold, I'm going to go in with Mooney, which is just this like white reflect gold right on top, just to really intensify the goldiness. I'm just going to go back with Char Char a little bit, just with not an extra on the brush, just to make sure that edge is nice and soft still. Then just to add a little touch more sparkle to the eye, because well, why not? I'm going to go in with the Peaches and Cream pigment in Hollywood. So I'm just picking some of that up on the same exact brush then i'm just spritzing it with a little touch of my hydration mist just so it's a bit sticky and i'm just gonna lightly pack that right on over the top 
but it's just got a little bit more of a sparkle to it. Just to add a little bit more smokiness, I'm going to pick up our darkest brown, which is Rowdy, just on the Zoeva 226. And I'm going to press that right along the lash line just to create a nice smudgy smoky liner. Then I'm just lightly patting over the edge just to soften it slightly. Again, just so it's not looking too harsh. So with the same P. Louise eye base, I'm just going to prime my under eye. And at this point, I'm going to use the concealer just to clean up the edge of that wing. I can't find my brown gel eyeliner anywhere. So don't shout at me if this is wrong, but I'm going to use a brow pomade. I'm just going to use my brow builder brow pomade in dark brown. And I'm just going to press that into the waterline. Then I'm just really lightly going to run that underneath just ever so slightly and I'm just going to smudge that pomade out while it's still wet. Just on the same brush taking Rowdy again, I'm just going to further set that pomade down and I'm going to connect that into our wing. Then just to finally add our lighter colours into the underneath of the eye, I'm going to use one of my favourite brushes which is the Morphe M507. I'm just going to get a little mixture of those two shades on that brush and just buff out. So I'm just going to pop on a touch of mascara. I'm just using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Just a nice thick coat just to make sure my lashes are black for underneath me falsies. Then I'm going straight in with my lash. This is the Molly Cosmetics MCM2 Eyelash. So I want to make sure that brown eyeliner is nice and intense. So I'm just going to go back in with my brush and just pack back, back over that line. And then finally to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go back in with that moony shade and just pack that on my inner corner. Just to add a touch of goldy glow. So that is it for the eyes. So next, let's move on to skin. So for foundation, I am taking the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is another thing I've not used for a while, but I used to be absolutely obsessed with. So this is in the shade True Ivory, and I've just mixed in a little pump of sun beige as well, just to give me a little bit of warmth to my skin, so I'm not like completely dead looking. So I'm just taking a small foundation brush, and I'm just painting that all over, including down the neck i do that with every foundation whether it matches me or not just because i think it smooths it all out and blends it together seamlessly especially if like if you're like me you've got a dark face and a dark chest but a light neck i'm then going to go with my peaches and cream pc19 brush i'm just going to use this just to pat all that into the skin So I'm just picking up whatever excess foundations on my palette and I'm just building up my coverage where I like it. So I genuinely like to cover my cheeks more because that's where I get the most freckles. And I feel like as well, if you can see my freckles in this general area, it sort of messes with my contour and my, and my bronzer. It makes it look a bit more muddy and like I haven't got skills. So I'm going to go on with my concealer now, and this is something I picked up in my first ever Sephora visit when I was in Barcelona recently. And it's an old fave, so I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape, and I've got the shade Fair Beige. I'm not entirely sure if this is right for me, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that's fine. So I'm just hitting all those usual spots. And then I'm going to take my Morphe G34 just to start pressing all that in. Oh yes, I forgot how gorgeous this concealer was. Just look at the way that blends in. Just before I go onto my eyes, I'm going to go back in with my Peaches and Cream Foundation brush and just pat over all that concealer just to make sure it's all blended properly all your edges so with this brush i like to do all the underneath first and then once we get closer to the eye i'm going to switch to the molly o'brien shawnee brush so just a fluffy eyeshadow brush because i don't want to ruin 
my blend that I did before. I don't want to have spent all time blending on my under eyes to then go and ruin it with concealer. So I'm just very lightly buffing in the top edge of that concealer and then taking it under that wing as well just to clean that area up. For cream contour, I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution foundation stick in F13. And I'm going to try a little something. I know in my last video, or my second to last video, I said I don't like to draw it on the skin. But I feel like I'm putting too much on with my brush. So I'm just going to lightly draw a little bit on my skin. Then I'm going to take my Olivia Lane fa um, fan brush and just start buffing that out. To set my under eyes, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Air, Bl Air Blush, Air Brush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and this is in the shade number two, medium. So I'm just taking that on a Real Techniques pointed contour brush, and I'm just really focusing that on that under eye, and then just ever so slightly between the brows, and of course, smile lines. So then to move on and set my contoured areas, I'm going to take MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. On the Zoeva 126 brush, I'm going to lightly stipple that right on top of that cream contour. And then to deepen up and add just a little touch of contour, I'm going to take MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Dark Golden, just on this brush from the Morphe Eye Credible set and get them right in the hollows of that cheek and then I use whatever's left on my brush just into my nose. Next we are moving on to highlight and you all know I like to wet my face before I pop my highlighter on so I'm just going to spritz the Vitamin E Hydration Mist from Superdrug. Since I'm dipping into a lot of oldies, I'm going to go with the Anastasia, Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in Sunburst. I'm just going to use that on the Peaches and Cream PC17. And I just like to go back in with my bronzer brush just to make sure they're blended together nicely and there's no harsh line between them. So I am going to add a touch of blush to this look. So I'm going to go in with my Milani Baked Blush in Luminosa. Just on this Peaches and Cream PC03. So now moving on to my brows. I will zoom you back in. So I picked up some new brow products the other day and I have been so happy with how my brows have been looking. I am back to the soap brows technique. So I'm just taking a mascara wand and I'm just rubbing it into my soap. And I'm just gonna brush through my brow hairs just to set them how I like them. So mostly up at the front and then towards the brow, the, the tail, I like to push them out. Then I'm just going to take the Revolution Pro Duo Brow Powder and this is in the shade Ebony. So I'm just going to take mostly this shade and use that to build my brow. And to do that, I'm going to use the 3 von 7 Winged Liner Brush from Zoeva. So I'm just picking a little bit up, then following that carve we created earlier. I'm going to put my brush down on the angle and then pull it upwards just to soften that product into my brow and create that nice sharp line underneath. So I'm just tracing out that line underneath, pushing the product up through the eyebrow. Then from the top of the brow, I'm gonna flick downwards to create more of like a hair-like stroke rather than fully filled in. So I'm just doing short flicky motions downwards, the same way my hair's grown. But even just because it's powder, even if I go too heavy, it'll still look a bit more natural because it's not as heavy as like a pomade. So I've just completed my other brow off camera because I am rapidly running out of memory. So I've just zoomed you back out, ready for the lips. I'm just going to give them a quick wipe just to get rid of all that 
disgusting makeup and I was really torn with my lips. I don't know, I didn't know whether to go for a red or a nude, but I think I'm gonna go with nude. So I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel London Cappuccino lip liner. Yeah, Cappuccino. Now I'm going to take a mixture of two of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. So I've got 65 Seductress and 55 Driver. These smell so nice. I feel like I say that about everything at the minute. Then I'm just going to add a touch of gloss, so I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Lip Gloss in Suede. <laughs> then just to finish everything off, I'm going to have a little spray with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And there you have it, that is today's finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This like, it's a little bit different from me, a little gorgeous, soft, smoky glam. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're down there because I am back and I plan on staying back for a while. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.